Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today I'm going to show you, been uh, more and more on Windows, just due to the fact, as I keep saying, because IQ feed is only available for Windows. So I've installed a Python 2.7.11 version, which is compatible with all my other OS's, both Linux and Mac. And uh, I've installed that using this installer here. Uh, a couple other things that you should be aware of. Uh, follow these steps to install your path on uh, not just the Python, but the Python, I guess, version 2.7 with the scripts. And put it on your path. You can do that through the PowerShell. I do it usually through the control panel. And from there, uh, what you need to do is to install pip uh, for a couple of packages that are needed for this script I'm going to show you. Uh, so all you gotta do is just do this, uh, navigate to it. That will, uh, I'm just going to open it. And you run this uh, on your, in your terminal, in your command line, right here. And uh, it should install your pip. This gets installed uh, as part of the um, Python 2.7 scripts folder I just showed. So you should be all good there. And uh, we're all good. Okay. So let's talk about this script here. Uh, this IQ feed script. Oh, yeah. And you would help to have your IQ feed running and validated. Now, what's happening here in this script here? Uh, let me just get it to uh, right here, the README. So obviously you got to import uh, the script into your um, own. And then you set a date time, a date range, start and end time using the date time package. And then you uh, are now downloading IQ feed historical data with that data range at 60 seconds, which is 60 minutes, and then you issue uh, the download symbol on the symbol one. I'm just going to work, this, this time frame is not properly documented, that's okay. Uh, so for now, that's what we're going to use is the uh, time frame of 60 seconds, fine. Okay, so let me just show you the uh, actual code. So this is the IQ feed Python code all here, nothing fancy. All you really need to do is to ensure that you have pandas installed, okay? So when you go into your Python interpreter on the command prompt, what will happen is uh, in your Python, in this case, which I have running, uh, you need to import your date time and then you need to also obviously import the uh, where am I looking for you need to import your date time and you will import the IQ feed here so let me just do this again so I don't know the compatibility of this package with other versions of Python so I can't guarantee it you can see here I've got the 2.7.11 running. So the first thing we do is we import date time just like this. All right, and then we go back to our document. Uh, we can import our IQ feed historical data. That's accepted, and now I'm going to change this. Actually, it doesn't really matter. We set our date range as such. And now, this is where it gets really exciting because we set our periodicity, periodicity at 60 seconds. So now, we download our symbol. Not quite yet. First, I'm going to do just a simple one like Apple. Oops. 
Okay, a couple things you need to be aware of. What you'll need to do is if you look at the um, structure of what this script does, it needs to be two levels of folders at, up from, so basically if I go into, um, uh, IQ feed and then IQ feed again, here's where the script resides, right here, IQ feed Python, right there. So if I go up two levels, back into this uh, directory called market data you'll see uh, it creates all these files now obviously you can change this structure on this market data path within the script itself here but you know me I'm a lazy dude okay so we just ran that uh, Python Download of IP feed for Apple. Now let me just close this. Okay, so now you'll see we've got a new file that gets created right here called Apple 60 with the date range and all that. So if I navigate to that uh, folder, you'll see it has everything that I need. Now I have to modify my average true range script to adjust for this, but this is great because it's 100% in Python. We can see here it's got all the data that I want uh, separated by minute of uh, open, high, low, close, uh, and I'm assuming that's volume in one of these, but the only ones I really care about are these three and uh, it will do it for that date range that I specify. Okay, it's a little slower than Q Collector, but you don't need to buy Q Collector because of this and the power of Python, the great community that developed these kind of scripts. So we know that Python um, runs great on Windows, uh, the easier way of doing it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do now, obviously, for this to work on with IQ feed, you need to be subscribed to the Forex option. Okay, so my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do US dollar, uh, Canadian, uh, let's just do GBP, and then FXCM. Okay. So, here it is. Oh, no data. Hmm. Uh, let me just see uh, on our uh, symbol lookup. Okay, so I'm going to do IQ feed uh, 4x symbol lookup for one of the. Uh, Okay, so we want to do um, a stri uh, USD GBP. Let's see if it looks it up. Still circling. Okay, so we got USD. USD uh, I'm sure uh, hmm. let's try this one using the 10.4 which is another option within 
the IP feed. Oops. I don't think this will work. Let's give it a whirl. No data, probably. <laughs> uh, let's try FXCM as a source. FXCM. No, I didn't like it. Um, Canadian. Let's see what it pulls up. Can't believe it. This simple stuff I had it before. Um, CAD. Let's try that. There we go. It's now working. Yay. Okay. US dollar. Canadian. There we go. Um, so that symbol worked. There you go. Okay, uh, it's good enough for me. Should be good enough for you. Uh, and then we just parse through the data to find our appropriate um, our appropriate uh, periods that we want. Hopefully, this will help you out later.